Hi, my name is Terry. If you haven't been to my channel before, I sell on eBay full time. I would like to show you some of the items that I have sold in the past seven or eight days. Be on the lookout for some of these items. First is this Black Magic Tire Shine. It actually has glitter in it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think I had about six boxes of these and I have sold them all. They were $49 each and this is the last one I had and I'm running a sale right now. And so this one popped up on the sale. Sometimes I'll do a sale for items that are six months to 12 months old in my inventory or older. And so those will pop up on sales for 10, 15, 20% off, depending on how long they've been there and the price that I have them listed for. This one actually was on sale for $42.49 and I paid $2 each for all of them. This Sony flip clock. I picked up for $15 and I sold for $99. I've only had it listed for about a week or so. This is my first one I've ever sold. I do sell a lot of uh, vintage clock radios, but I've never sold a flip one. I have learned from other resellers on their YouTube videos to look out for them. So when I saw this one, I grabbed it. The numbers flip down. If you've ever seen Groundhog's Day, that's a perfect example because that is a flip clock and it shows exactly how it works. So this was definitely a great item to pick up. I purchased a whole bunch of vintage socks, men's briefs, and t-shirts from the 80s and 90s. And I sold all of the socks except for a few specialty ones that were Levi socks. And those are listed pretty high. So it's going to take just the right buyer on those. But I also have this vintage Fruit of the Loom three pack of t-shirts. And these are from 1986. And so I paid $5 for this pack and sold them for $35. So this ET lunchbox I had showed in one of my other videos when I picked it up. I was at an estate sale and I was in my car waiting for it to open. I get to estate sales anywhere between an hour to two hours early. And the neighbor right next door had um, opened up a garage sale. So I went on over there and they had this for sale for $5 with the thermos. And I listed it for $149 and had it listed probably for about a month. And somebody reached out and asked if I would take 135 plus shipping. Sure, I'll take 135. That's a great profit. So this is going out today. This hokey, I think is how you say it. It's a little push vacuum cleaner. I know when I used to work in restaurant, we use these all the time. There's no motor on them, so they were quiet and get all the little pieces of food up off the rug. And so this one is from 1984. It's brand new. It's never been taken out of the box. And I picked this up for $12 and I sold it for $79. So the rest of the items are already shipped out. So I will just go through those really quick and show you what I sold. This Monster Quest Complete Series DVD set. I guess it's about strange creatures in the ocean. It's brand new. I picked it up for a dollar and I sold it for 25. This Coraline DS game was inside a Nintendo DS that I had purchased. I think there were three other little games that came with it, but this one was inside. I had no idea when I purchased it that there was one actually in there. And the Coraline was the most valuable one. So I probably have about a dollar into this and it sold for $50. I sold this Singer sewing machine. Don't be afraid to pick up sewing machines because they can do very well. It was $75 on the first day. So I figured I would come back for the last day of the estate sale and see if it was still there. If it wasn't, that was fine. There were a few other things that I was going to pick up, but it was still there. I have sold a couple of them for over $600. This particular one, I sold for 168 and I paid 37.50 for it. Be on the lookout for 
pop-up books, children's pop-up books. This is the second one that I have sold just like this. The first one I sold, I was very new at selling on eBay and I think I was really anxious to get it out the door. And so I sold it for a lot less than it was worth. I think I sold it between 40 and $50 as I remember. And this one is in the same condition. They were both in really good condition. And this one I sold for $139 and I paid a dollar. This vintage La Machine made by Regal. It was new in box, had never been open. I think I was the first one to take the heavy duty brass staples off just to take a peek inside to make sure that everything was fine in there and not cracked. I picked up for $15 and I sold for $125. Somebody had reached out and said that they had one passed down to them about 25 years ago from their parents, but they were in their 20s then and they just weren't interested and they ended up giving it away 25 years later and they have kids and just really want that same old one. So they found this and purchased it from me. Hopefully they'll be happy with it. Um, it has been delivered, so I haven't heard anything bad. This Christmas merry-go-round, I picked up for $5 and I sold for $70. It sold pretty quickly. So don't think that you can't sell Christmas stuff in the middle of spring or summer because they do sell. We've been going through quite a few boxes trying to consolidate. And I ran across our Xbox box, empty box. And I have sold empty boxes before. So I listed it. I don't think it was listed a week and I sold it for $40. So if you have desirable electronic boxes, definitely look them up before throwing them away in your recycling. Vintage pantyhose are a thing that people buy. So of course, brand new, you never want to get any used ones, but I see them all the time. And I do a quick look up when I do find them because some of them aren't selling and some of them are. I have this lot of 11 that sold for $75 and I paid 25 cents each for them. So I have $2.75 into this lot, took probably about two months to sell and got $75 for them. Next one is Beatrix Potter DVD set. I paid a dollar for and sold for 30. They are not new in package, but they don't look like they were ever played. There's no scratches on it. Doesn't even look like they were ever taken out of their box. This Shuko Charlie motorcycle. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It is a little metal motorcycle and it is a replica of a very desirable toy motorcycle. It's made of metal. So if you can find the original one that this is replicating, they sell between four, $600 and up. This one I sold for $100 and I paid $15 for it. And I actually bought two of them that are brand new in package. And they were at a sale, an estate sale that had been open all day. It was my last sale I went to before I headed home. So it was probably around two or three in the afternoon. This place had been gone through completely. There was hardly anything left. And I saw these sitting up really high. It was one of those fireplace mantles that were really high up. And so they were sitting up there and I grabbed them down, took a look, did a quick Google search on them and saw that they were selling for at least $100. So I grabbed both of them for $30 and I have sold my first one for $100. So it just goes to show that you're never too late for a sale. You could always still find really cool stuff. Zoku Popsicle Maker. I picked this up for $5. I think it sold within 24 hours for $35. These two fish pillows I picked up probably a couple months ago, just got them listed a few weeks ago. I was there on the last day of the sale. They were $5 each, but I got them both for 
five since everything was half off. And I sold them for $40. This huge eight person tent I picked up for $50 and I sold it for $150 plus shipping. I have had it for just a couple months. I knew that it, as soon as we got closer to summer that it would sell pretty quickly and it did. I paid up for this passport for Mac. I think it's storage for your computer. I paid $20 for it, but I just knew it would sell pretty quickly. These types of things usually sell really quick. And I sold it for $60. Picked up these vacuum cleaner bags. I was traveling out of town. I went about four hours away to go visit my mom and some relatives. And of course, I have to go sourcing no matter where I go. And I picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar each. And somebody purchased four. I had them in lots of two. So they purchased quantity two, which gave them four. And so I sold four of them for $50 and I still have one single one left that I actually need to get listed. I sold this cute little pretty enamel colander. I paid $1.50 for it and I sold it for 20. This vintage Toshiba phone I've had for about a year. I purchased a lot of CB radios and telephones. They were all vintage. They sold really, really well. And I have just a few pieces left over. This is one of them on the first lot that I had purchased on the first day. I just did an average price. So I paid $12.80 for this. I did go back on the last day when everything was half off and purchased many, many more things. And they did really well. Halloween items do amazing if you have the right ones. And I found this one for $5. Um, and this was on the last day of the sale. I had already been there on the first day of the sale, did not see it, picked it up for $5 and I sold it for $175 last week. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe down below.